Hello everybody. Today we are going to see how to implement fluent wait. Fluent wait will wait till our expected condition is met. So uh, implicit wait, explicit wait are there, but fluent wait is an advanced version of both these weights. So let's uh, look at a small program and that will make you understand everything. So here I have uh, created a small program that is a custom weight and in this I have a, a main method I am not using testing here uh, I have taken the first uh, web element as email the second web element as password one so what this program is doing it will go to Google let me open a new session of Google Gmail I mean it will go to Gmail here gmail.com and then it will put in the username and subsequently the password and then it will sign in here it is uh, signing in directly let me run the program and show it to you so uh, I will explain you the program first so web element email I have set it to null web element password one I have set it to null I have put a boolean variable here uh, boolean check and I have set it to false here I have set the system dot set property. Uh, I will maximize system dot set property for Chrome driver. Then I am instantiating a new Chrome driver here. I am going to the Gmail site and then uh, finding the element email uh, and assigning it to the email variable and then sending it the keys of Chobal Pinakin. Then I am find I am clicking on the next button that's what uh, button is there on the screen and then after clicking on the next button I am entering the password here uh, I am uh, assigning the password first and then I am uh, putting a boolean for, uh, method that is is displayed and I am printing the value to the console so let's see how this works I have commented the fluent weight over here and let's see how it works without the fluent weight so I am running the program now. Okay, it has started running. Okay. Okay. There you go went into the console window and we will get the local connections are allowed it will start a new chrome uh, browser session yeah there you go so new chrome browser session has started it will go to the gmail site next accounts.google.com that is what it is opening now since uh, internet connection is slow it is taking a long time to load the page but it will load the page eventually so let's wait till then okay it has loaded the page but it is still syncing in yeah there you go it has entered the username and it has clicked on the next button but as you can see the script fails it says that it is unable to find the element let me scroll up unable to locate element no such element and it's unable to locate the element so now what do we need to do uh, even if it takes uh, 
one second to navigate to the password uh, field it is throwing this exception so i have put in some code over here this is fluent wait code and it will wait till the password field is displayed so what this will do is it has created a new web driver wait instance and it has assigned it to fluent wait uh, with the instance of driver and i am uh, polling every 1 second and it will wait till 30 seconds have elapsed here and i am ignoring the no such element exception during that period so then i am assigning the um, wait until clause wait until uh, i am assigning it to this password one so what it will do is it will return the driver dot find element by id p a w s w d 1 uh, p a w s w d and until it finds it will keep polling till 30 seconds once it finds it it will assign it to p a w s w d 1 and then it will come out of this and it will uh, assign this and then it will print is displayed or not so that's about it uh, for this code let's run this code and see uh, i will also uncomment this uh, no need so let's run this code and check what happens it should enter the value in the password field that's what this program should do earlier it was failing on the password screen okay it has entered chobal pinakin and there you see it has not failed and it navigates to the password screen successfully so we can and you can see that it has printed true for is displayed so password field is indeed displayed and that's why it is printing as true you can uh, use this as a custom function in your code for implementing fluent weights thank you so much for watching this video